Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I appreciate it immensely. Uh, I am joined for today's news conference by day to share those results with you. The results confirm the presence of BSE in this animal, an animal that was blocked from entering the food supply thanks to the firewalls that are in place. It is critically important to note that this animal was identified as a high-risk animal. A sample was taken and the carcass was incinerated. One out of 388,000. U.S. beef is safe, plain and simple. Nothing about the events of the past few weeks nor today's announcement should change in any way the confidence we have in our beef supply. I enjoyed beef this noon for lunch. It is the safest in the world and I will continue to enjoy beef. So there is absolutely no question in my mind that Americans can and should continue to be very confident in their beef supply. And the same is true for our international friends. I appreciate the calm, the very thoughtful reactions we've heard from many of our trading partners, including Japan and Canada. At a time when some countries are dealing with dozens or even hundreds of cases of BSE, the international community recognizes that the key issue is whether the food supply is protected, and ours clearly is. Years ago, to conduct a test, including the type of antibody used, might not be SAF, Western blot, also detected BSE in this animal. That's why after careful consideration and consultation with scientists, I am calling for a change in our testing. I have directed our scientists to work with international experts to develop protocol for simultaneously performing the IHC and the Western blot test in the event of another inconclusive screening test. In several meetings with the Inspector General as well as our scientists, and about I.